is uh, Friday the 17th, I guess, of February. I, I should pay attention and remember to like know the date before I start talking on these things. But you know, I just kind of turn the camera on and then start thinking. Insert foot, etc. But um, it's been a... I kind of got on a kick a couple weeks ago as I, I probably hinted at when I played that, I think, on the news. Uh, early February kick, kind of a historical time in history. Historical time in history? Important time in history as far as uh, musical development went and stuff. And um, got on a Buddy Holly kick. So I decided to do Words of Love. That was one of our target releases this week. And I've been messing around with a few others. We'll talk about some of those later. That was the modified version. <laughs> um, anyway, it's been Buddy Holly. It's the start of a Buddy Holly series. I'm sure I'll do a couple more as the, as the weeks roll on. But this week we took a look at Words of Love, a uh, song that he wrote, didn't really become popular. Most of his songs became more popular after he died. <laughs> example, thanks to some big bands. I'm sure you know who they are that covered that. Um, more than one. So, part of today's trivia, I guess. Anyway, uh, so we looked at Buddy Holly, Words of Love. Of course, the biggest cover of that was done by the Beatles on Uh Oh For Sale, I'm thinking. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure you will. Never fails. <laughs> and, uh, and then we took a look at a little bit more Damien Again, these lush chords in the Damien Rice songs. Although just a few weeks ago, we heard another song with these chords that weren't that weren't from a song of his. Anyway, however that goes. As you know, I had a lot of fun doing Badfinger a couple weeks ago, and am now having a lot of fun doing Buddy. And uh, what else has been going on around here? Damien. I was back to that. Also had a fly on the wall with um, introducing a new... Stu I don't think... I think this may have been the first video we've seen of Pete. And he was working on a couple Damien Rice tunes. So we put a fly on the wall up of him working on The Blower's Daughter, which was, of course, what I hinted at playing there. I didn't play enough of it probably to where you even recognized it because I started in the middle of the song. On the A chord of the neck, all these open chords that he uses. Beautiful sounds in those tunes. And then we uh, added a bit, this is all of course part of the, tar the tar our target editions for this week before I get it. Actually I think just about everything that, that I'm talking about right now is stuff that we have added to our target program because uh, that's where all the cool stuff is. Anyway, so the Target program this week had The Blower's Daughter and um, whatever I played at the beginning, Words of Love, then A Fly on the Wall with Pete working on The Blower's Daughter, although that was later. I think we had A Fly on the Wall earlier. Oh yeah, it was Kevin playing... Um... A song we looked at uh, many months ago and I had a little video of a couple of uh, teenage girls singing that with me, my daughter Lizzie and our, our good friend Caitlin. So if nobody's seen that in a while, I'm sure it's still floating around in the on the beat section of Totally Guitars here. But um, anyway, so Kevin was working on that. We talked a little bit about the theory and suspended chords. So that was our two fly on the wall vids. And then we had, at the end of the week, I threw in another um, slack key tune, Que Aloha, which is a tune that uh, goes back a ways and is pretty popular among guitar players. Uh, so we now have a, a little block of, I think there's like three or four, Open G tuning songs. So if you've been messing around with Open G, you can add K Aloha to your uh, to your set. There's a couple more, slightly more difficult ones just around the corner, as well too. So I'm gonna kind of uh, I gotta still lay those out and, and all. The other kind of big news is something I brought up at the beginning of the year. It took me about six or seven weeks to get it to implement it, and that is getting back to student reviews. And as uh, as I mentioned, there are a few glitches there with us locating all the old ones and getting everything up and working, but I think we should be smooth sailing now. So I figured kind <clears> of <throat> to start with some really old ones. I think most of the couple of ones we looked at this week were went back many months. And both of them were, were lessons that students had. I think Dean was playing this, or no, was it, uh-oh, uh I lost track. Could be, I think I got my, I think it may have been Scott. 
Anyway, playing Listen to the Music, and uh, that came out, it, it was really good. And my review was pretty much just, hey, good job, keep it up, work on a couple of little things. And then had, uh, what else do we have? Well, here comes the sun. So uh, I am definitely back on the plan of taking a look at student uploads. So if you've been thinking about putting some up, and I have noticed since Tuesday <clears throat> when the first one of these went up, that we have had a little bit more of an influx of that. So that is pretty cool. Keep them coming. I have now got a little bit of time budgeted for this. Well, not today, but in the near future, next week. Um, what else? You know, I've been listening to some things lately and see if you can spot the similarity or the connection between... Nah, let's, let's see. Let's go somewhere else first. Make such a great solo, but I've been listening to that lately. Okay, sorry, I should quit getting so self indulgent and just uh, get back to the problems at hand. Or, no, oh, the other thing that I meant to bring up that was very, very cool this week, and that is the progress of the TG banner that is just like this one except bigger and has had more pause on it than this. This, is, I think, has only had mine. Maybe Matt's, too. No, he's only seen it. So, um, anyway, the banner has made its way to California. Now, I don't know if that means that it will be here soon, or if there are still a couple people or dozens of people waiting to get the banner sent to them and signed. It has made uh, a lot of travels. Somebody could probably log the miles on it. Mark, you out there? Who's been following the the banner progress and could tell us how many miles it's traveled so far. We know it's been in Europe. I believe it's been to Australia or is it on its way there? Oh, I lost track. But one thing that was very cool about this thread is I think there are now over 10,000 views on the thread about the banner and four or 500 replies. So nice, nice video put up by our target member, Craig, playing a song. <laughs> Craig's rendition of Imagine sitting in front of the banner at his house and then trip to Taylor. So if you guys haven't checked that out, it's really cool. If you are waiting for the banner, I guess you have to contact somebody. Put a, put a note in the thread that uh, you need it or whatever and would like to sign it and, and be part of its, its world travels because that's pretty cool. But I'm looking forward to getting it here sometime and sharing it with everybody at the TG News department qualifies as a lot of different departments around here. So uh, I think that is about it. Congratulations again on the banner reaching California. We talk about it like it's a, um, it's, it's more than just 
a piece of vinyl with printing on it. I think it's become very symbolic of all the cool stuff that happens here at Totally Guitar. So I really want to thank everybody for contributing to that and also all the contributions everybody makes to the site, especially helping out some new members when they come along with questions, comments, uh, confusions. So um, you guys have been really, really supportive and brilliant. I gotta say, now I'm gonna get back to practicing. I'm working on a couple of kind of cool tunes. You've probably heard this one before, but I'm gonna see what kind of shape it's in on a cold, sunny morning here in southern, southern part of Northern California. <laughs> That's why all of a sudden I was playing through the song and decided to leave out three-fourths of it and jump right to the end. Ha! Huh, better planning necessary. Okay, that's it. I'm out of here. I will see you next week. Holiday week around here for some people. Some people are out of school and all that kind of stuff. So, And the snow is finally falling in the Northern California mountains. So, uh, Not that I'm about to take my knees out and try to ski on any of that stuff. That's silly. That's for people that have knees. So, but I will be back next week, and uh, thanks again to everybody for the support and for staying in touch and in tune and hopefully in time. Oh, appreciated the, the deluxe metronome video, by the way, too. I do have to, we will get to that. We'll talk more about that one a little bit later. But uh, nice work from our buddy Matt, I think, out on the East Coast, who tackled one of, uh, one of my more difficult tunes. So, great job on that, but more on that later. That's it. See you next week.